Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. In our previous session, we have talked about the internal storage in Android. And now we are going to learn that how the external storage works. External storage that means SD cards. Yes, you are right. So this is our instructor Janice Shah. So and let's begin with the external storage. So students, when we talk about the external storage in the Android, so most of the Android devices might have the less amount of internal memory or I can say the internal storage. At that time, we are going to use some huge kind of external storage to store our data. These data files are stored in the external storage or I can, I can say the word readable format and can be notified to the user whenever it will store or I can say the USB mass storage to transfer the file on a computer. See, Developers are advised to use the option available to store the data depending upon the space required. Okay, if you think your application need to store the data in the external devices, then it should be stored in the external as in the internal as well. Now, data files are stored over external storage are using file input stream, file output stream object, and to read and write the data. So obviously, it's again the file input and file output, but little bit different than internal storage now see the external storage it is very much necessary because your applications try to store something outside it outside the scope so it is very much necessary to give the permission to the user now what do we mean by the permission I'll explain in the next lecture as well so do not worry about it in upcoming lecture I'll talk about the permissions in Android okay so here it is necessary to add external storage the permission to read and write the data okay so for that you just need to add the permission in android manifest file here to add the permission you just need to add this code uses this permission on above the activity tag in your manifest file so use this permission permission to write external storage and permission to read from the external storage now the method get external storage state so this method is used to determine the state of the mounted storage media as SD card is missing or not. Suppose see right now our phones have like 128 GB storage, 64 GB storage, 32 GB storage but this also known as, as external storage you can say. You can, this method checks whether the SD card is available in your smartphone or not. So if you're thinking that sir, if my phone has 128 GB storage and still I want SD card to run this program, no, it's not like that. If you have external, if you have 128 GB, 64 GB, 32 GB storage, then it is very much fine. You can run this code and you can see that how the Android Studio 4.2 version can uh, automatically get the SD card for you and uh, give, give the space to the external storage. Fine. So do not worry about it. Next, the external storage methods. There are some methods uh, to work with the external storage. The very first method is external file directory. This method is used to store the private data that are specific to the particular app only. Okay. Next is external storage directory. Okay. This method is not re recommended. It is now absolute and it is not available. Okay. The next one is external storage public directory. This currently recommended way to enable to keep the files publicly, okay, not detected with the app uninstallation. That means these files are not deleted when you uninstall your application. This file is still there. Now, check the availability for the external storage. So, how can you check that external storage is available or not? For that, we have one method that is known as uh, get external storage state. See, this is a Boolean variable I have defined like available and readable like false and false. By default, both are false. I just take a state like string state is equal to environment dot get external storage state. Then you just need to check like this, like environment dot media mounted dot equals state. Then available is equal to true. And same like that, if environment dot media mounted underscore read underscore only equals state, then it also returns true. So only read available operation only read operation is available in this or you can read and write both this can be stated by this both read and write operations are available or not this will be stated by 
this okay and if both are not then that means if available is false that means sd card is not there fine now next how to write in the external file storage so same as the previous one so for that but before to writing you just need to create one directory for the application so in the external storage we are going to make a directory and inside it we will put our file so this is the file folder environment.get external storage public directory directory name okay now my files if new file open up the file and write the data and close it next is how to read again just go to the directory open your file read it store your data in revising uh, string buffer or anything else and just close the input string now what we are going to make over here we are going to add the data in the edit text this is the same example as the internal storage nothing new over here except this is an external storage so we are going to store the data in the external storage file fine so now what we have we have same as the previous one this is our edit text write button and read button two buttons are there we will enter the data in the edit text it will create a file and store in external storage inside one folder so we are going to make a folder as well so read it the data from the external storage and this is how you can find out an external storage see the storage path of external storage is little bit different than the internal storage what we have we have sd cards under the sd cards we found the data folder inside the data folder you will get your project name folder okay and this is a project name inside the file we get our directory which we have created and file that we want we have already created in which we store the data fine so students in this practical session we are going to make a folder inside that we put our file the data is there in the external storage so now let me show you the live practical for the external storage then so start so now students here you can see this is our activity underscore main dot xml file i have created a new project with the name external storage example 2 and this file contains the same layout as the internal storage nothing new is there so this is a relative layout i have taken one edit text over there okay let me just show you wait a minute okay fine so now the edit text is there then inside it i have taken one button to write the data another button to read the data but to show the data from the file i took one text view over here that contains the data view components fine so let me just keep it uh, this is related layout so let me just keep it below our last button is read button okay so let me just keep it below id read data button fine so now if i click over here you can see find out over here see this is our okay now is it visible to you fine so this is your text view here we can able to see our data fine the id of the show data is a show data text view this is my two buttons are there and single edit text is external storage edit text this is our id and type here it is our hint now let me show the code for the java file first sorry this is our android manifest file why because before starting to code for the external storage you need to give the permission to user to, to read and write the data from the external storage for that you need to write like uses dash permission permission dot read external storage and uses dash permission permission for write external storage fine students this is how you can give the permission always make sure this uses dash permission code is on the above of the application tag okay this is your application tag and this is the uses dash permission fine okay We'll talk about the permission later. So this is my main activity in Java file. What I'm going to do is this is to map my uh, values, like read button with the read button, write button with the write button, external data edit with the external data edit, show data with the show data. And here I want to create a directory as well. So I'm going to specify the file name and the file path and the file contents. I'm just taking these three different variables. Okay. Now map the data values like read button write button external storage and the show data so i've just already mapped my all four view components fine now what next what next so this is what we have we have the file name 
and we have the file path with us. So file name is my external storage dot txt. File path is my external directory. So here we are going to make one directory. Inside that we are going to put a file my external storage dot txt file. Now. If the external storage is available for read or write, so this function is used to check whether is external storage available in your application or not. Sorry, in your smartphone or not. So for that, see, this is our function. I'm going to make a function that returns true or false. If this function is available, external storage is available, then it will show the available. Otherwise, it returns false. So now, string external storage state environment.get external storage state if it is available c equals to environment.media mountain if the sd card data is available and it is true otherwise it returns false now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to check whether it is available or not c if it is available then if it is not available then our right button is getting false so you can also disable the on click event on the right button by just writing right button dot set enable false. Fine. Now next, what we have? We have the right button dot set on click listener. See, first what you need to do? I'm just uh, before writing something, I'm just empty my show data. If it is that something, then I just clear it. Okay. Next, file content. How to take the file content? Obviously, we want the data to write. Which data we want to write? We just want the data from the edit text. So that is external data edit dot get text dot to string dot string. Okay. Next, I just want to check if my file data is not there. If user doesn't have anything to write, then it will show a toast message that this text file is empty. Okay. If it has something something to write, then you just first need to create an external file by like this, like new file get external file directory this will create one folder and inside it it will create a file with a file name our file path and file name both variables are already declared over here see file name file path fine and i have already give the values to both of them this is the file name this is the file path fine now next what we need to do we just need to open the file in the output stream mode output stream needs try and catch I have already did this. See, if I go to new file output string, file name, and convert my file content to get bytes. In a previous example of internal storage, we have directly write like this. See, we have directly write return like any text dot get data dot to string dot get bytes. But here, I just did differently stored all the data inside the file content and then convert this string to get bytes. Both ways are okay. You can do any one way. Now, all the catch file exception, I exception, all that. Then after this, I just cleared my uh, edit text. So this set text is null and then make a toast that information saved successfully. Fine. Now, how to read? So obviously, you just need to open the file again the, from the external storage. For that, you need to write like this, like file reader is just used to read the file. So first, go to file, my external file, new file, get external file directory file path and file name this will open the file okay then string builder builder is equal to new string builder then pass the file object over there like fr is equal to new file reader my external file so this will open the file reader inside the reading mode okay now your file is getting ready to read okay now just take the data uh, pass the buffer reader I want to read line by line that's why I'm taking string line over here take the buffer reader call the function read line of the buffer reader and then check until and unless my line becomes null it will append the line to the string buffer object fine so here line is equal to bi.read line again because after appending the line to string buffer I want to read again in the next line and then repeating the steps again and again until and unless it will become null so inside the finally block what we have see after that we just need to uh, whatever we have in the string builder string builder contains the object again that's why we need to convert into from the string builder to the to string method to into the string okay so by using to string method i just converted my string builder object to the string and it contains the file content and then send the data to the show data to set text file contents fine so 
this is how the external storage work now let me just show you how you can see your file so you just need to open up your device file explorer go to the sd cards for external storage we need to move to the sd cards okay next we have wait a minute sd card then go to the android then data then find out your project name okay so let me just click over here my project name is uh, com dot com dot example dot what is that it is external storage external storage so this is our uh, file name is prod folder name is here see so inside it let me just uh, keep it over here see now inside over here students you can find out your file files folder inside it we have created one directory like my external directory and the file name is my external storage.txt so this is what my external storage so now let me just close this okay and run this program and show you how it works okay students so this is our example for the external storage where i have created a directory let me just change the directory sorry file name storage live.txt and the directory name is live again okay let us see what output we will get so just wait for a few minutes students the application will run soon so the application is uh, getting installed and launched so this is our external activity or external storage file let me just write something let hi enter Janesh Shah enter teaching you enter mobile application development fine now let me just write the particular code so let me just click on the right button okay so the toast message is there that information saved successfully so if you want to read something then let me just click on the read see you will get the, all the output hi Janesh Shah teaching you mobile application and development fine so you will get the output perfectly if you want to write something else like uh, this is ljiet official channel for learning android fine let me just click on the right see i have written something like information save successfully when we click on the right button students i have already made the text null of the edit text so when we click on the read you will get the data again okay so your file is working perfectly now let me just show where the file is stored so here in the sd card you should find out your android folder and data under the data you just need to click on your project name so project name is com dot example dot external storage so here in the external storage example under the files see the two directories are created let me show you see two directories are there we have created my external directory just for live and under it my external student is called the txt is there this is lgid official channel for learning android fine so isn't it easy correct so just try it yourself and let me know if you have any doubt okay students so that's it for the introduction lecture students you have seen that how the external storage works how can read and write the data how can we check whether the sd card is there in the smartphone or not fine we have also seen that how the external storage we can find out the external storage and the sd card in the device explorer just get the sd card android data data and your project name as well so under that we have created a directory file and the file name okay so this is how the external storage works if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask me thank you so much